Group discussion is an art integral to any success story. It is not merely an important aspect of a selection process. It is very important in our professional career and personal lives. So we need to explore why is a group discussion so important. Now tell me, what do we do when we have to plan a new investment or propose a new plan, some change? Don't we sit together and ask everybody to give their opinion? We explore the why of GD. We share ideas. There could be a host of ideas from the participants. We explore those ideas. They may contradict one another. So what we do is we sit together and explore the differences proposed in those ideas and opinions. Some of the ideas may hold more water. So then what do we do? We negotiate and modify those opinions, try to modify those opinions. A GD is a place wherein we can talk wherever we want to. We could be creative, we have to be logical, but at the same time, we can talk about things about which we may not have logically thought and yet we have a feeling that it could work in this proper, in this proposal. Now when we put forth these ideas, we may rub somebody on the wrong side in a GD. What we do is we navigate through those sensitive terms so that what happens is when we go in for a meeting, a proper group meeting, we have come with something substantial to discuss over there. And that is why group discussion is so very important. It sets the base for a formal meeting, you could say. We test ideas through getting group opinions. Even within the group, we could have small groups. Let us say there are eight participants in a GD, in a group discussion, and two to three may be comfortable with one idea, and the rest of them may be talking about certain other things over here. Now we try to bring in logic and explore these ideas. We try to test them on the table itself. So group discussion sets the stage for a more formal meeting. It's very important to know how we could function in a GD because if we do not know the tenets of GD, it will be very difficult for everybody to contribute to it. We need to find out, we need to see that everybody gets a chance to talk in a GD and for that we have certain parameters. Team play, initiative, leadership, listening, creativity. These are some of the tenets of GD and then we have flexibility, assertiveness. You see how flexibility and assertiveness have, put, have been put one after the other. And then we have reasoning ability. Do you think they are contradicting one another? Sensitivity to group opinion, awareness of macro and micro view. We are going to discuss these things just now. Team play, group discussion, they stand for one and the same thing. In a group discussion, we want the entire member of the group to come together and discuss as I just mentioned in the previous slide. Initiative, especially for the selection process, is extremely important. As students, when you are participating in a GD, you tend to be the initiator 
because you feel you would get an extra brownie point for that. Believe me, the job of an initiator is extremely important. You have to be sure of the topic because you are the one who is going to explain, introduce the topic to the team members. If you do it right, you definitely get the brownie points. If you do not do it right, you may suffer. So, what, how should you go about initiating in a group discussion? Briefly explain the topic to them and then whatever you thought was the strongest point in your repertoire, place that. Do not go about rattling the points one after the other because then you would have summarized the GD in the very introduction. Others may come up with the same points. At that time, you could support them. So, what happens then? You have been the initiator, you have given the one of the strongest points out there and now you also come as across as a team player. Normally people say the person who initiates becomes the leader. No, there are so many other things to leadership. If the initiator has not done the job properly, perhaps the second member who talks about the topic in the group may do the job of the initiator and explain the topic once again because the GD has to move on a right track. Now, somebody could say there cannot be a right track or a wrong track for an abstract topic. Agreed. And yet, you could merely explore the ambit of the group discussion of that particular topic and then leave it for the group to explore. We will be talking about leadership as well. When I talk about leadership, you have to be cautious about the group opinion. You have to subtly see that even the quietest member of the group contributes to the discussion. Listening is again a very important aspect of group discussion. In a selection process, what happens is we are more fond of talking than listening. Unless and until we listen, we cannot build upon an idea. And then the group discussion would be a mere flow of ideas. It would be a cacophony of ideas. It is not only about floating ideas. Group discussion is also about exploring ideas. Creativity. Perhaps something within you says, okay, this could be linked to this topic. Perhaps we could explore this. Should we? Should we not? In such a case, just let the group members know that there is something niggling. You wonder whether this would be directly related to the group discussion topic or not, but then you just felt like sharing it. You never know the idea might just click. It may have a long duration ramification. So, if there is something which you feel is creatively compelling you to contribute to the GD, go ahead. Do not stop yourself from doing that. Flexibility and assertiveness. When I say flexibility, normally my students give them that glare, that quizzical look. How can we be flexible in a GD? We have already taken a stand. How do you expect us to shift our stance in a GD? Friends, GD, be it in a, for a selection process or in your professional career, is not a debate. Perhaps what you thought needed to be explored further. And now, when in a group discussion that has been brought up, you feel that there is a need to incorporate it. So, go ahead with it. Business is all about playing things right, about making profit. 
So, if you can contribute by being a little flexible, it should not hurt. At the same time, if you think that there are certain occasions when you have to stand for your case, be assertive. Perhaps over there, you could modulate your voice a little bit. You can make it a little more firm and say, oh yes, I think there is a lot of merit in whatever has been shared right now. And yet, I feel the need to have this particular thing explored. So, when you raise your voice a little bit, that too politely, people would listen to you and they would feel that if you are being assertive, perhaps you have thought about it logically. Therefore, both flexibility and assertiveness have a major role to play in group discussion. Reasoning ability, for a selection process you do not get much time to prepare on the topic. But if you have been given some time, say 10 to 15 minutes, think about what you would like to contribute and then approach it logically. Once you approach things logically, you place an idea and then explain it. The message that you send to the moderators is, I have thought about the idea. So, reasoning ability becomes very important. Do not make personal attacks. You have to be objective. You have to be sensitive. When you are there with the group members, you are discussing a topic. You are not discussing the group member. Make use of shall, could, may I, because that shows that you are cultured. That is uh, something very interesting about awareness of macro and micro view. It is also related to flexibility. When you are there for a GD, often we tend to take either the micro view or the macro view of the solution, of the situation. And perhaps that is why we need to be flexible if we have well thought about what we are saying. This need may not arise. However, for a group discussion, see that you explore it from both the angles. Take a macro view of the situation and take a micro view of the situation and then participate in a group discussion. Friends, group discussion, as I said, is very important and what you need to do is do not prepare yourself with just the interviews in the selection process in mind. It is an art form. Cultivate it and let it stay for you because it is going to help you not just in your professional career but also your personal lives. Thank you.